Hi guys, um, welcome back to Taylor Tales. I'm Lina Furana L. Well, before we start this game, I'm going to run a bit. As you can see, um, the things that I do, I do for fun. I do for myself, not for other people. I don't give a damn on uh, to downers to oh uh, because since uh you think you know me but you had no idea the things that have gone that that have going in my life. Please behave yourself. I don't give a damn on your downer comments i don't give a damn on your so obvious comments i don't give a damn on your negativity please the stuff that i did cosplay everything i did for myself i didn't cosplay to impress other people no not me everything for myself cosplay for fun okay and the videos that i did also I do for fun. It's not for for real stuff. I didn't do that for money at all. Just pure entertainment. Oh, so anyway, I think that's it for now. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue tale tales. So, yep. Hope you guys like still be strong. I mean, you know, due to what, what's happening right now. I'm like, I just like, uh, uh, it's unpleasant, but I like receive like. Also, you know, two of them last Thursday uh, still try my best to recover from it. Hopefully, before the Ramadan started <laughs> soon, because it's not easy to fast when you have like some things uh, disturb your current health, you know. But we'll, I'll try my best. So, okay, let's continue. Alright, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Angela. <laughs> oh, Jocelyn. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Snip, what are you doing here? <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, he has to hang so recently. <laughs> hmm. it, it seems you don't check your cell phone 
all that often, do you? <laughs> I haven't checked in a while, why? Never mind Dad, I wanted to discuss something with you. There's really no elegant way of putting this, but Angela's delusional ideas make me realize it needs to be said. Okay, your cousins, delusional. Okay. <laughs> I think we should stop being in contact with one another. <gasps> okay. Why? Oh. It's for the best. This way Angela won't be pulling you into her weird shenanigans and I will have some peace and quiet as well. There is no need to involve yourself anymore. In fact, you can pretend we never met each other at all. Isn't it what you want as well? To not have to engage with me ever again? Can leave me alone. No, be kind. No, it's not what I want at all. Wrecking <sighs> ball. And you can lie to me and say that's what you want as well. See, I'm trying to do you a favor here. Angela crossed a line. She had no right to drag you down into our family's business. So I'm here cleaning up her mess. You don't need to feel responsible for me. You are nothing to me. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Oh, sh oh my god, Neil! I should be fierce. This is a mistake. Fine! Then be you and don't you take come back. Hmm. 
see it's what you want as well yes totally leave <clears throat> goodbye oh no why we came like this oh no Oh my god. My god This looks fabulous my dear Wow oh, so pretty Angela oh my god been to the opera before it's not too fancy really people who believe themselves to be important attain it to inflate their egos don't let it get to you then why why did you get an every invitation mm. uh well i get invitations to lots of events I have to network where I can, you know, and for you it's great as well. People might want to know who made this fabulous dress. Lord knows that I have been praising your name from the rough to since last time. And thank you for that, although I hate to hook another clan such as you. <laughs> well, I guess we need to change that now. I'm sure something great will happen. Are they okay with me tagging along? Um. Ah, oh, you know, just some old couple. Lovely people when they are in a good mood, not so lovely when they are in a bad mood. But it's absolutely no problem that you are coming along. I told them all about you, and they are excited to meet such a wonderful and talented young woman such as yourself. <laughs> dazzling, simple dazzling. All it needs is a nice diamond necklace to finish it off. Ah, hi. I heard about your job. You make pottery? Uh. I make all kinds of art love. I love to sculpt and let my imagination go wild. It's, it's a passion of mine to travel the world 
and see the many pieces of art that people create. Italy had only been my latest escape. It makes me happy to see you are doing something you love then. So I never wore those dresses. <laughs> it's hard to imagine you as a Tom. I really was, but after my grandma passed away, I was left with these boxes full of the dresses she made for me. It made me so sad. I cried for a whole week straight on the attic with that box. My mother gave to me the sewing machine my grandma used, and I guess I felt in love with it ever since. That's a lovely moment of your grandmother, Jocelyn. I'm sorry you had to say goodbye to her so soon. That's okay, she gave me a passion in life. <laughs> That's great. Life is all about going after your dreams and finding your passion. Huh. That's why I'm so concerned about me. Oh my god. Hmm. His stress at work is chaining him down. I know he wants to do something else with his life, but he doesn't want to defy his parents. Hmm. You know, he's got a bachelor's in interior design. Yet he doesn't do anything with it. Instead, he's wasting away his potential in the family business. It's infuriating, you really. Is that why you wanted me to pretend to be his you now? Hmm. Oh, Dad. Actually, his parents have been looking for a fiancé for a while. <laughs> they want to get him into an arranged marriage as... They feel he won't get into a relationship on his own and give them the lovely little green sugar they so desperately want. But I told them if they cut back down on his work hours, he might have time for a relationship. So I kind of proposed the idea. <laughs> but don't you worry, everything will be alright. I've got plans. Mm. Now let's get this dress back into some plastic so I can carry it back home. Huh? Oh, right. About your dress. Have you started on that yet? I have made a few sketches and have got a general idea in my head, but I haven't started the construction yet. Pick something dark blue. It will go lovely with your eyes. I bought the ticket to uh, the opera. How much is it? Uh. I invited you over. I can't expect you to pay for your ticket as well. No, don't worry. This one's on me. Angela, you're so nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have an important okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's the, the dress, right? <laughs> I knew it. My dress, Klein. Oh, Angela, myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about this. Ubat, right? Medicine, medicine. Oh my, my god, that's so nice. So I need to buy the glove. I, I think I don't have the glove yet. Hmm, okay, wait, wait, let me shopping first. 
shop, shop, shop. Let's go shopping. <laughs> This one, right? Gloves. Yes, yes. So expensive. What, what to do? I think that's all right. Crochet. Okay, design for myself. Myself. Okay, accept. All right. So the. Like this or oh, it's different. This one is ay ay. <laughs> no no, I have to get back to the shopping. Sorry, wrong wrong wrong. Yes yes. I thought it's the same thing. Sorry. The shopping shopping Bali. Shopping. Hmm. Top. Let's see the thing. Ah, this one. Sweetheart. Okay. So, I'm not sure about the color. Colors. It always be dark blue, right? Deep blue by like just in case. Uh, okay. Just buy everything. So I have to. Uh, not this one, I think. This one is different, blue. Go back! Back, 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 Design. So. I'm back for third time. So, okay. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, yes. So. Is it this blue, right? Alright. Then. It's in the sparkles. Okay. And this could. Mm hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. There's to me, uh -huh, uh -huh. I like it. Mm, okay, more sparkles, please. Beauty, white. Alright, then the sleeve. Check this. Yeah, all tick. Done. Thanks. All progress, alright. Okay. So then I have to change my outfit, right? Mm. Oh my god, that's so beautiful! Oh, shay. Oh my god, gorgeous! Oh my god! But I don't know, I want to shop for accessories. Let's see. You know, the. Better lah, right? Mm. Better accessories, short hair. Hair, hair, perfect already, ma. Necklace, alright. Oh, in game is very rich. Real life, oh, very sad. <laughs> sad, very sad. 
Okay. So item. Do bracelet, spike bracelet, pearl bracelet. Do I have Kiara? Ah, hi. Oh, no mind lah. Let's see. I think this is perfect already to me lah. It's it's nice, right? Okay lah, go with this lah. I was still on you, I know it's okay lah. It's a game anyway, so... <laughs> I'm such a sundiri. <laughs> Let's go! I already went already! Ah, okay. It is almost 6 o'clock. <laughs> you ready to get bored? Lol. I'm excited and nervous. Don't be. You probably won't even be able to follow what's going on. And the dinner won't be that exciting. But enough about that. You look lovely as always. That place is to die for. Perfectly style as well. Oh, excuse me. Let's go to our seats. Hi, he's oh my god. Of Anna. Hmm. Fashionably late. Hmm. You made it. God, who's this? This looks like Miss Parents, right? Oh my God. Hmm. Better. Better use this picture, right? Because it's very rare. the girl I've been telling you about. This is Jocelyn Furel now. Huh. 
Marcus and this is my Ev my wife Evelyn. I'm surprised. You're wearing something even remotely resembling modest this time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's new. Angelo! Oh, you sneaky! Hmm. Is something the matter to you? <laughs> no, everything is peachy fine. It's so nice to meet you, dear. I heard from Angela that you design your own clothes. Oh, no. We can. Why, oh, yes, yes, I do. This dress was designed by me as well. <laughs> it looks like Ashley's standing on you. Don't you think so, too, Neil? Mm -mm. Don't you give me that kind of attitude, young man. Compliment your date. It is only polite to do. <laughs> uh, you look nice. The show's, the show's almost starting. Now let's all enjoy this evening together. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm going to get something to drink, so I'll be right back. Hmm. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, I am. It's lovely. Hmm. We can never get a meal to enjoy them, so I'm glad someone is each does. Hmm. 
I'm getting something to drink as well. <laughs> what are you going to offer your date something to drink as well? Be a gentleman. Mm. Would you like to have something to drink, Jocelyna? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> So, Jocelyna, where did you meet me? Moms! <laughs> um, I could give it. I accidentally spilled some coffee on him. <laughs> the old classy. I'm happy to see that you didn't sour your relationship from the start. Uh oh. Oh my god. What are you doing here? I came here with my parents. No one mentioned I was going to be on some kind of date with my fiancé. Well, I didn't know either, so stop making it sound like you are accusing me of something. Angela set me up. <sighs> I knew it. I knew she was going to pull you into her shenanigans. I told you to stay away. Hey, just because you don't want to see me anymore doesn't mean I have to stop talking to Angela. She's my friend. Oh, was I don't know what she put right now. This isn't acceptable, but you don't get sick in who I see or don't see. I understand I have no control over who you speak to, but perhaps I wasn't clear enough that day. Hmm. If you want to live your life drama free, then stay away from me and my lunatic of a cousin. It will only cause us trouble if you keep sticking around. Nee, you are an enigma to me. One day you want me around, the other you are chasing me away. You don't even know what you are. What right do you have in deciding, deciding for me? I can make my own decisions just fine. <laughs> well, gee, I didn't realize I didn't realize you like being around me that much. <laughs> Perhaps I should sign a a photograph on my side and hang it over to keep you satisfied. Maybe frame it and hang it in hang it in your booty. Damn it! I'm I'm not saying that. Then what you're saying? I don't know, but I do know I don't like it when you go ahead and decide decide things for me. Typical. 
I should have turned around the moment I saw you sitting down in that seat. My god, Neil, why? You are free to leave. I will leave after the show ends. I'm sure I can come up with a good excuse to escape dinner. <laughs> she invited you over for dinner as well. I didn't know it was going to be your parents. Okay, well, I'm not going to stay around and play house with you. What are you so eloquently told me to stay away from you? Wait. <laughs> My parents, they can't find out. I, I'm not really your fiance. <laughs> At least you have some amount of brains in that head of yours. Continue insulting my intelligence and I'm walking out of here right now. <laughs> my apologies, I'm a little on edge and taking it out on you when I should be taking it out on Angela. I know I told you to stay away from me and I promise after this you won't hear from me again. However, I'm asking you if you can hold out until after the dinner before leaving. I can still salvage things afterwards. Okay. I have no such obligation towards you to go along with this scheme. Especially not after you told me to stay away from you. I know what I said, but this this is only for tonight. Because this weather is only for tonight, before I find you as Tinjila Headland. Your words were very hurtful that day and I wanted a sincere apology for you before I will agree to anything. I just did. That was an apology for what happened two weeks ago and you know it. Was it really that awful of a suggestion? Suggestion? <coughs> what else could I have done? Did Angela drag you through the mud as she is now? I am my own person. I have my own agency. Let me make my own choices and leave me to deal with the consequences. Don't decide it for me. I hmm. I thought it was for the best and yet things still turn out this way. Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry for hurting you. It wasn't my intention. I wanted to spare you the drama. <laughs> Yeah, it's always like that. What do you know? Well, it certainly didn't work out that way. But apology accepted. <sighs> so, will you please be my fiancé? <laughs> well, don't leave the people hanging. What's your answer?
really, I, I didn't expect you to agree. I can easily write my answer if you want me to. No, no, I can't do this without you. Oh, that's so cute. I, mean, I know it's a joke, but you know what to do. Hang some people. Mm. Thank you, Jocelyna. I really do appreciate it. God, <laughs> I think I need the water now. Be right back. Triggers lots of health issues. Uh, it's not easy for me. I already have like a condition. Uh, uh this kind of stuff happening is not helping me either. Uh, be strong, be strong. It's not the end of the world. Oh, Angela. It is when the purpose of this was to get me to meet his parents for some kind of scheme. The that they are dating me, that is not all right with me. <laughs> for being as outspoken as you are right now, I didn't really see you kicking out a fuss in front of his parents though. Could it be that you are secretly okay with it? I just didn't want to be cruel. Angela, I really am upset about this and so is Neil. Do you know he approached me a couple of weeks ago? Uh, a couple of weeks ago. He told me to stay away from him. You know why he said this? Because he didn't want you to get me into this bad, into madness like this. Uh, no need to blow a gasket here, dear. It's just for one dinner. That's all I'm asking for. Me. <laughs> Look, drastic times call for drastic measures. If you can get through this one dinner, his parents will get off his back. I will not, I will not let me work himself to death. Mm. Work with me here, don't fail me now. I have high hopes for you. <sighs> My God! Oh, Angela. Dinner. 
Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Forrester. How is your evening? Right this way, please. Your table is waiting you. to do this evening, madam. Some sparkling water will be fine. Damn ants! <laughs> oh my god! Hmm? Work from the outside in. We keep it secrets from us like that. Share it with the rest of the table. <laughs> oh, let these lovebirds have their private conversation. I bet they are just saying the sweetest word, words to each other. Jocelina, designing these dresses, is it a hobby of yours? No, it is my passion and my life's work. Hmm, is that so? Huh? What did you study at the university? the art school a waste of time and money oh my god Excuse me. Stop being so clumsy, boy. <laughs> I 
I guess they didn't teach you how to use your utensils in art school. education with no prospective jobs out there. <laughs> now, now, no one was insinuating that your education was a waste. After all, I'm one of your biggest fans. Just Selena made this dress for me as well. Oh. If I was in which she look like an elegant young lady, sometimes you show off too much, too much skin, my dear. A lady should dress more modest like Jocelyna here. <laughs> a little skin never hurt anybody. Besides, I can you like to see a little bit of skin. to Jocena and me who are getting married. Oh sh oh my god No oh my god <sighs> to us It was very nice meeting you, Jocelyna. Do let us know when you can join us again. I would love that. Drive you home. Uh, all right. Oh, my God. Is worth. I think you two make a very convincing couple. You and I will be having a very serious discussion when you sober up. I won't be letting you off the hook. Oh, come on, lighten up me. Your parents love her. Oh, well, Evelyn did. Marcus was a grump, but he always a grump, grumpy grump.
I really do apologize for tonight, for Angela. Your parents weren't too bad. You went to Anna school too, right? For your interior design. Angela mentioned it as well before. Angela blips too much. Do you ever end up finding work for it? No. Hmm. I started an internship at the hospital straight after graduation. My father wanted me to follow in his footsteps and learn on the job as soon as possible. Oh, that's kind of sad. <sighs> It is what it is. Do you think your owls will get cut after this dinner? Mm. Can't be too sure of anything. If it were up to my mother, she would have me work one day a week. But it's all up to my father. Sounds like someone I know. Uh, are you talking about me? <laughs> Who else sticks their nose into somebody else's business as much as you do? No, I don't. That would be Angela. <laughs> that watch you broke. It was a gift from Angela for my graduation. <laughs> she had high hopes that we are we be working closely together at the same firm. Unfortunately, life didn't work out didn't work out that way. That's too bad. At least I realized my dream. I can't imagine being forced to do something else that isn't even related. <sighs> Of course, I'm unsure if that's the right word for this situation. However, I have been forced to work at times, or should I say, hundred, until I gave in. Mm. Actually, do you re remember the day I walked into your boutique for the first time? Ah, could I forget you mistook me as a boy in one of my childhood pictures? <sighs> Disregarding that, I was there by pure accident. My father's secretary was following me the entire time, yapping about so many things I should have been attending. She drove me mad, that woman still does. I figured I needed to give us away to get rid of her. So you mean to say you were in my boutique that day because you were hiding from her? <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it hiding. Call you hiding? <laughs> oh, that's cute. I suppose I was. On us, do you still want to move? Hmm? Do I still want to what? <sighs> do you still want to stop seeing me? <sighs> Get out. I'll walk you to your door.
Isn't it better this way? Is it? Mm. You just spend the entire night pretending to be my fiancé, entertaining my parents with the idea that I might actually have someone who tol tolerates me enough to marry me. <laughs> but you don't think it's smarter if we simply never see each other again to avoid such disasters as tonight? And then I say I am the one who can make their own decisions. I can handle disasters. Besides, is that really what you want? Can you really look at me and say you don't want to see me anymore? Uh. Hmm? Oh. Just so you know, don't. Don't make me waver in my decision. Oh my god, what should I do? <laughs> no. Oh, let's do fuse. Oh my god! <laughs> no, no! Don't! Are you wavering yet? <laughs> Duty tactics. Cheetah. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> My God, it's not easy. <coughs> um, I need to beat you a good night. Regardless if I want to see you or not, it seems to have no bearing on whether or not I will actually see you. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means eventually I'm going to see you whether I like to or not. That's still not an answer. Can you just say a simple yes or no, Mr. Simple and Queen? Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, haram, haram, my god. Oh, yo. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright,
sendiri sendiri Does that answer your question? Oh my god, what just happened? Okay, <sighs> I think that's enough for now. Or should I continue? Because my ayo is hurting. Lah. I should rest more actually. Mm, I think that's enough for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Lina Furena L. Adios.